Marketers love to slice and dice their data. People from Oklahoma versus people from Texas. People who came from Bing versus people who came from Facebook. In this video, I'm going to overview how to create a segment in Google Analytics and kind of some of the nifty things you can do with segments once you know where to click to find them in the user interface. Let's get started. Think of a segment as a piece of your users, sort of a subset of your web visitors. So for instance, a segment is similar to something like people from Oklahoma, people from Texas, people who came to your website from AdWords, people who came from Facebook. So a segment is really just a subset of your web traffic of the visitors to your website is a good way to think of it. I've already, I'm assuming that you've already installed Google Analytics. Okay, so once you have a segment, right, you, you want to think of like kind of in the real world. You want to define that sliver or segment that you want to look at, such as people from Oklahoma, people who come from YouTube. Then you want to figure out if there's a pre-built segment for that or if you have to create it. Then you're going to turn it on and then you can look at your data or you can turn on more than one segment and you can compare and contrast them. And I have some links here to some official Google information about that as well. Now let's go over to analytics and let's sort of look at our basic um, segments. So let's go over here. Now, as you're in analytics, you always want to have that positive attitude. It's a very powerful program, but a lot of things are hidden. So this little blue guy here or this guy here is the magic way that you get into segments. It's not a very good user interface. So you're going to click on that guy there. That pops up your segments. Okay, so let's first work with system segments. These are predefined by Google in advance. And you can see I've starred them. Once you star them, they'll show up in your stars tab. So there's a lot to work with. So I always star the ones I like. So for instance, let's say we wanted to look at our mobile traffic. So I can click mobile traffic and I'm going to turn off all users. And then I'm going to let me maximize this. And then I'm going to click apply. So now I have a segment on. I'm just looking at my phone traffic, which is 12.95% of my sessions. So therefore, I can then go down this left-hand column and I can say things like, what browser did they use? So I can see that most people use the Chrome browser. I can go over here to acquisition overview and I can say where is my phone traffic coming from a lot is direct some is organic referral not a lot of social I can then go down to behavior and I can say what are the landing pages that people are coming to from the phone and so I can see that as well okay now let's say you want to compare two segments so you want to compare your mobile traffic to something else so let's go into our system so kind of everyone and let's sort of a really obvious thing to do is compare mobile to desktop so turn on mobile traffic tablet versus desktop and then just for um, grins and giggles turn on all traffic you can turn on up to four segments at any time so now i have a segment for my phone traffic a segment for my essentially my desktop traffic and a segment for everyone so this guy here is a superset of those two guys there. Okay, so now I'm going to turn on those three segments. And here's what's really neat. Then you can go look at your landing pages and you can look at the percent who came in to this page from mobile, from desktop, et cetera. And you can see where is it more popular. Or you can look at something like your bounce rate as a whole and you can say well what's the bounce rate and you can see here that for all users my bounce rate is 52 percent but for mobile it's 62 percent so i can see that my bounce rate is somewhat higher for mobile traffic than for desktop which makes sense given the fact that this is a pretty serious website it's not really easy to understand or browse on a tiny screen that's the idea okay so you want to know the, the pre-built segments, you just get to them by clicking up here, 
click on system and then ones that you like that you are going to kind of think oh yeah that's good data just click the star there and then they'll show up here under starred and then you can get to them quickly i like that feature a pretty neat way to to kind of get to them Now let's look at custom segments. This is where you want to know something more unique. So for instance, you want to care, compare Facebook traffic to YouTube traffic. So here you're going to create a traffic and I'll show you how to create a traffic for my YouTube uh, traffic as well. Okay. So we're going to go over into advanced to segments, right? Again, let's turn these guys off. So click here and then let's just turn off everyone that we don't want. So let's turn off the all users tab and let's turn off if you can't find it just go up here and click remove and then click here and click remove so now I've turned them all off so now I'm gonna go new segment because I want to create a new segment and I'm gonna just call this segment YouTube traffic and then I'm gonna go to traffic sources and then I'm gonna go to source contains and I'm gonna start typing YouTube and I'm gonna hit YouTube and then over here on the right, you'll see it kind of does a little analysis and it tells me that there is some data there that there's 5.6% of my traffic. So basically you give it a name, you figure out which one of these guys you want to do. In this case, it's a really simple one and you're done. Once you've done that, you click save. So now I've turned on my YouTube traffic. Okay, now let's turn off these other guys. Okay, and let's say we want to compare YouTube to Facebook. So I'm going to go start, and I have already created one for Facebook traffic, and I'm going to hit apply. So now I have two segments of a YouTube traffic and a Facebook traffic. And let's turn on organic as well. So let's go uh, start here, and let's do my just my organic traffic. Okay, so now I, I'm kind of got three different types of segments on. I have two that are custom and one that is pre-built. So this is answering the question, what percent came from YouTube? What came from Facebook? What come, came from organic? Now here's what's interesting. I can go down here to my goals, right? Because I've defined goals and I can see that Facebook, first of all, there's not a lot of traffic coming from Facebook. And then and that YouTube is almost as good at organic at creating goals even though YouTube is a very small percent of my total traffic so it speaks to the importance of YouTube as generating quality traffic to this website so you're going to use your advanced segments your custom segments to compare and contrast um, data in your uh, analytics so you, you go and create a new segment and you can create it. Now here's the thing. Think of something that you want to know in the real world. So think of a question such as my traffic from Oklahoma versus my traffic from Texas, my traffic from YouTube versus my traffic from Facebook. The sky is really the limit here as you create these segments. Okay, let's wrap up what we've learned. So first we've learned the concept of a segment. It's really a subgroup of your web visitors. You wanna understand that's what a segment is. Next we learned that there are pre-built segments already in Google Analytics, such as um, organic traffic or social traffic, et cetera. And then finally we learned that we can define a custom segment for something that we want to know that's unique to our interests such as i want to know my facebook traffic and i want to compare my facebook traffic to my youtube traffic all of this is always with the kind of perspective what is your marketing question that you want to know uh, and you want to get out of advanced segments so you want to know gosh i'm advertising on adwords versus on facebook which one is converting for me better Google Analytics will help you answer that question. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. There are three videos on analytics, so be sure to watch all three.